My mother is inspiring. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but actually she had four kids, a very successful career, and she managed to juggle it all. She just made it look like it was very easy to do, and now that I'm in her situation, I realize it's not as easy as it looks. I just remember my mom always said, you know, being different is, is a strength, and sometimes when you have something different, that's actually what can make you exceptional. So I think that's a piece of advice I feel that I've carried on. So I think it's really important to know that it's okay if you're different and, you know, there's beauty in all sorts of uh, differences. She always said to take pride in your appearance. So, you know, whether you're in jeans and a t-shirt or you're dressed up to go out for an evening out, it's just that it's a reflection of who you are. So you should uh, take pride in how you look. So uh, she was always a bright red lipstick kind of uh, woman. I am the exact opposite. I'm always on the lighter tone, but uh, I, I think that that was also a signature of hers and it just made her uh, always look sort of beautiful without doing much. I think her best beauty advice was really to, to take pride in how you look and your appearance. I really do think everything is possible. If you work hard and you have a vision, uh, and you are willing to be adaptable in different circumstances, I think that you can make anything work. So uh, whether it's a business, whether it's your family, whether it's a relationship, you have to have that inside. But if you do have it, then anything is possible. So you have to follow your gut and, and just go for it. You have to trust your instinct and no one knows you better than yourself. So uh, if there's something inside of you that doesn't sit right, listen to it you know don't second guess yourself sometimes we're all a little bit insecure myself included and i uh, listen to someone else even though i know in the back of my heart and in my mind that i i don't think that's the best option uh, not that it's has turned out to be terrible but i usually end up going back to where i where i started from so i think trusting your intuition is really important you know don't get too stressed over the small stuff I have a lot of really fabulous women around me who I feel bring me up, people that are really just on top of their game. So I, I find that a really hard question because being around people who have taken a risk and gone out and said, you know what, I'm going to try this and making it work and sometimes having it explode is just phenomenal. Inspiration comes in the strangest of forms and surrounding yourself by people who are amazing brings everybody up, you know, it's, it's like you raise the bar collectively. So, go girl power. Beauty for me is everything, you know, it's a life choice. So it's how you choose to live, uh, it's how you choose to take care of your body, nutrition, exercise. Uh, how you curate your, your own life. So I don't think it's any one thing. Uh, live well, feel well, look well. It's all really all intertwined with each other and that's all beauty. I also think you can find beauty in everything. So looking in the mirror sometimes and just feeling fresh from a good night's sleep and you know, a really yummy meal and having worked out, that's beauty. Looking at the little twinkle in my daughter's eye or uh, the, the little eye movements my son makes or gives me a hug, that's, that's also beauty. So there's just so much around us. We're so lucky. We're all so lucky. Looking after my skin is important because it's the one thing you're going to have your entire life. And it bears all the memories of everything you've ever done, from the sunshine to the ski holidays to just nature. So you have to treat it well and you have to maintain it just like you would anything else. And I think it's really important to take care of your skin, one, for prevention uh, and two, for enhancement. So you want to look the best that you can for the longest that you can. I don't have a lucky charm. I'm super superstitious. And so I always have like evil eyes on. So I never am without an evil eye or multiple evil eyes. If an eye falls off, I'm like, oh my God, someone gave me the evil eye. I start burning the Persian incense around the house. And, and so uh, I do believe that I can ward off the negative energy from someone else who doesn't have your best intention. I am obsessed with the music that my trainer puts on. It's called the Bianca story. Dancing people are never wrong. What a great title. 
This is my favorite song right now. And I'll listen to it forever until I move on to my next favorite song. Dancing People Are Never Wrong. Love the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah.